Hello, my friends, it's Krebsy here, and we're doing some World of Tanks. I, I'm going to be showing you guys some replays, uh, and I'm going to be commentating over this one, and also showing you some other live games with some live commentary. So, this game that I had was one that I had yesterday, and it was really, really good. It was the first game that I had in the day, and I was sort of thinking to myself, well, my first game of the day, I've just got onto World of Tanks, what did I learn yesterday? After playing with Osiris, after playing with Beyond D, I had to have learned something, and I really want to try to apply it into this game. And well, the video doesn't start right from the very beginning, but I checked the enemy team, and lo and behold, I've got some good matchmaking. I'm a tier 7, highest in the match, and my Panther. Now, my Panther isn't fully upgraded. It's got the engine, it's got the tracks, obviously, but it doesn't have the best turret nor the best gun. I don't have the Schmelter turret, I've got the Alpha G version, which is still pretty good. Good uh, frontal armor values on it, and very very nice traverse speed. Actually much nicer traverse speed on the turret than the Schmelter version. However, because I'm using a Schmelter version, I can't load out a better cannon onto it, so I don't have the best damage output. However, the, the, th the thing is, it doesn't really matter in this match, because I'm top of the tier. I have sufficient enough penetration to take on these tanks unless I come up to some tier 7s. And the main difference between the different cannons, the, the one that I'm using now and the higher tier one, is pretty much just penetration. The damage is the same, rate of fire is slightly different, I uh, believe it's slightly less for the better cannon, but the better cannon has better penetration. In this match, it doesn't really matter. So after learning quite a lot from Beyond D, Cyrish, and still learning a lot, uh, I've also been taking a look at other resources like Goha RU, um, for example. There's a lot of good guides on there, like map guides, and I was reading quite a bit of it. Now, this is exactly what I'm pl applying into this game. I'm going on top of the hill because I'm a medium tank, alright? Um, this is in counter, so it's not exactly like standard battles, but a, a very common thing for medium tanks to do in standard battles is to go on top of the on top of the hill and so I'm applying that same sort of idea behind it. I'm going on top of the hill using my speed to get up there as fast as possible hopefully before the heavies and such can even get that high and by getting up there then maybe I can use my my advantage to be able to shoot the top of tanks and that's exactly what happened you know usually German tanks don't have always the best of gun depressions but this is sufficient enough on this tank that I can I can take on some of these tanks and hit them out in their upper chassis, and that's exactly what I was doing at the top of the hill. And so, rather than staying up there and potentially getting hit, uh, I decided, well, I'm going to get closer to those enemies. I'm going to drive down a bit more and take a little detour into the dip. <laughs> and the dip is just the, right beside the hill. You saw me dive down into it. I uh, took a few shots, fair enough, but I got behind this stone here, and all I'm doing now is just reversing, trying to get up uh, to get some view on, on these tanks. I'm loading out my premium shells uh, because these are... I, I seen, I seen, and I think it was a KV-13. I can't see it properly because of my screen that I'm looking at right now. It's a KV of some sorts. And there's also uh, a Tiger. So, go to be n near my tier, same tier. At least a Tiger, anyway. Possibly the KV if I'm seeing that right. Um, and those are going to be the hardest to penetrate. So that's why I'm loading out my premium shells right now, otherwise I wouldn't even bother, I'd use my AP rounds. I want to start harassing them, get them moving around, and now that I've realized, hey, that guy, he's not, he's moved back, okay, I, I, there's no point in me staying in my place, I'm going to keep on putting the pressure on, our team is slowly encircling around, you can see that on the different flanks, and I'm going to keep on moving up on this, these guys. I'm going to get to the base of the hill, not cross over it, I'm going to get to the base of the hill because if I stay a far distance away, that KV and the Tiger are going to have an easy shot on hitting me. Whereas if I'm at the base of this small hill here, yes it's small, but because I'm at the base, they still have to come up quite a bit and that exposes for the KV for example, it exposes his underside belly, the lower part of his hull, to me. He has, because he has to come so far uh, forward. It just reveals it. If I was far away, well, he wouldn't have to go as, as far over. Uh, the KVs just naturally have problems with gun depression. And so because they come so far over the ridge, well, they're exposing themselves. Great opportunity for me. Now, I think 
I've still got premium shells. Yeah, I'm still loading out every single premium shell I possibly can. Using every single one. <laughs> Which is quite rare, but I think it's almost necessary for me at the moment. I'm trying to hit this KV right in the middle of his turret, because that's going to be the easiest part for me to penetrate. And now, AP rounds are, uh, are loaded. And am I still going to be able to kill him? I can't remember if I actually get this kill. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Oh, that was a KV-3. That was a KV-3 that I was taking on. Alright, so he's gone. And now this t entire hill has been cleared up. Very common place for, for tanks to hide upon. Uh, sometimes scouts will go there for a little bit of scouting. But a lot of times, heavy tanks, tank destroyers, they like to go on top of this hill. Gives them a bit of cover, nice hold down positions. And you can also spot people right on across on top of the hill. Uh, down into the swamp, across the field, and sometimes even up onto the walkway of the uh, hill, leading upwards of it. So, that's where they heavily defended it. Unfortunately, they didn't defend it too well, too strongly. Now, two kills for me, four for my teammate. I'm more concerned about uh, damage. They've got one tank left, Panzer 3 slash 4, hiding in the corner, of course. That's the only last places that he could be hiding, and he's gone. So, decent match, you know, not having the top gun potential. Um, I, to be honest, I don't even think having the top gun would have made much of a difference, because I was loading out AP uh, gold rounds. I was doing enough damage to those heavy, uh, higher tier tanks to penetrate them. So that, so that was good. Uh, and, and I managed to get a first class, master gunner, and also, and also a sharpshooter. I'm, I'm happy with that. First class in a non-stock tank. That's great. Very good. So the next two games that I'm going to be showing you are live games, so I'm not going to be speaking over it because me and Beyond D, Beyond D and I, we were speaking during the games at the time, and this first one that you're going to see is a game on Sand River, and it's really interesting because we don't have good matchmaking. We're in a match against tier 10 tanks on an encounter battle, and so, well, what are we going to do? Well, we have to make the most out of what we can do. And so, what happens when the enemies start getting up in our face? Well, it's time to get a bit creative. What I'll do, we'll go here and defend the cap at the moment. Let's go! Should we go in the city, maybe? It's, it's, no, this, this ridge here is the auto-spotting zone for that. I know, but could if somebody could easily kill them if they're around where I am right now. Yeah, but people won't stay there because there's uh, hold down positions here, 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 and here. <laughs> okay, fair it, it enough. Yeah, it works. Y your idea works when it's mid game. When it's mid game, you can do that. You can work that line. Early game, almost always you see people going here. Don't just we just don't have the penetration. Okay. So where are we going? We're gonna try to get. At least here, but hopefully here before we. What I'm trying to want to do is I want to get the on defending the cap, kind of. Uh huh. But like, but like super long range. Right. Well, they're now, all having a joust and. Yeah. In the now, now I'm counting already. Like, there's two TDs left that are unspotted, and not a Yak Tiger and an AMX 30. My guess is this is an AMX 37. 80 percent chance. Damn, I can't see anything inside the base. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna flush him out now. Okay, that's weird. This whole flank is clear. Go. Go get him. Instantly. wonder what it is. Do you think it's AMX? It's AMX, 100%. It might be a Yak Tiger, but then even better. We take out the tier 9, but I doubt it. It I'm sure there's a mod that would show you which tanks have already been spotted. And there is. That's the the X point XPM 4.0 has that. There's a little star next to the tank name. Oh. Really? That's very nice. <laughs> it's only on the stars are. We're chasing him? No, don't chase him too far. E4 is already here. Um, our Where team is go? gonna lose. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's boring, but we have to. 
try to get where I am behind a building. Like this. This is almost... Sorry, like this. Almost completely safe from all angles. You can't get spotted from the hill. Let them come. And uh, turn the other way. Because they're not going to come from the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So specific. So, so, yeah, but it's important. I know, I know, I know, I know. And now we're going to lure the enemies out. There's like there's like literally nothing you can do in battle other than hope that. Just see all those two six eight nine hundred damage per shot. Yeah. <laughs> there's a yeah. lot of high tiers in this t in this match. A lot. They're surely be coming, zooming in in the second. Yeah, yeah, right in front of you. Go get him. Oh, he's right in the side. Very nice. Standing still. It's okay. It doesn't matter if he hits you. No, he just missed me. Better. <laughs> he didn't even reset the points. Oh, <laughs> watch out! The house is getting hit. Yeah, that's okay. I can back off. I could. This house can take four hits on general. This is the best thing you can do sometimes. Just oh shit! There's somebody coming right in front of me. All right. Try to pull back a bit if they're really close. To the right, the forwards. <laughs> Bench mode. Yeah. And... I'm surprised they just don't... I bounced them. ...wreck through the house. Whoa, that's Try what to get to around do. them if you can. I'll shoot a Strax. Ah, damn it. Go for it, go for it. Just circle him. Knew it. How do I damage his turret ring? <laughs> At the back, just shoot him in the back. Or in his engine. I think he's giving up. <laughs> yeah. oh. No! Oh, come on, enemy team. That's just mean. Who killed me? M103? No, what killed me? Someone killed me anyway. Yaktai can oh, hit dude, him. Dude, I was having fun. <laughs> and the Yaktai ruined it for you. Did it good. I'm thinking, shot. should I take the hit? Yeah, yeah well, just. No! He, he could no actually... I'm gonna wait. He's gonna break the building. Yeah. What I'm now doing is I'm aiming at his cupola in advance. That's the only spot I can pen. Bye. What? You just shot through the building? No. The, the actor could destroy the building. Oh, shot. right, yeah, yeah, I see that. From my angle, it looked like. Yeah, it was pieces instant. Still there. I, I just reflex shot. Nice. But, that's, but the thing, the difference was, I already aimed at his cupola, so it was gonna pan. Yeah. And the differences between me doing that and me crushing the building is 900 damage sometimes. Wow, that was funny. It's a shame yeah, I had you to did, die, though. You trolled that E4 so hard. Well, like, he, yeah, you just you didn't have the. Uh, Traverse on his turret to catch yeah. up, and I tracked him constantly. So he's like, "Oh, yeah. damn you!" <laughs> so that was a bit of fun. We pulled through in the end, although I died, unfortunately. The Ag Tiger, whatever it was, had to ruin my fun. How dare you! Uh, but that goes to show, just sometimes you can actually make something out of a game when it seems a bit unlikely. Now, the next game that I'm going to show you is. At times when you have to defend against an offensive team, you might come to a roadblock. You got two teams fighting against each other in one area and nowhere is budging. Okay, so how are you going to break that apart? Well, sometimes you need to find a little hole in their lines. What's even better is when they start raging that you do something legitimate. Let's go. And companies. And it's like tier 8. And, yeah, and then it's fun. Because then sometimes you literally have um, two six times fifty of them dro dropping in the middle and just rushing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bit funny. But you could easily snipe them off. If you're in a good position, yes. But what you do, you split up your forces. Fifty percent here, fifty percent here. So if they're all coming like this, it's crazy. You have to respawn on time.
What I remember from this tank is that, although it has sloped front, it's not great at taking damage. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a big do damage, don't take damage. Basically. See that bush on your left? Uh, that one? Yeah, a bit more forward. That's why you need to hide. Everything that comes up, gonna die. I'll take the first shot and then I missed. Oops. Dude, I'm a bit afraid right now. Didn't think they yeah, would back. be coming up that fast. It's okay now. Just just fall back a bit. Wait. No! ELC had to so <laughs> had to lose his tracks right in front of my shot. Uh What I'm now doing is I'm turning around trying to flank them already. And kinda can. Damage on the M7. Oh wow, our team is bad. <laughs> Just pull back. Just make sure you do hits, and then you can retreat after them. Or you can full back pedal if possible. What's around this and side? Uh, the yeah, but be careful. The you can get crossfire. So wait until they come up. It's M3 Lee. Wow. See if I can move up. Yes. Yes, for sure, actually. Only have to destroy the M3 lead, but I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, Ricochet! <laughs> they luckily didn't damage me. And now you can move up in behind them. Yeah. Here comes the pressure, here comes the pressure. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Well, things are winding down now. Yeah, I need your help for that. Uh, Matilda. Uh, yeah, that's, that's coming. Oh, he's moving in. Well, <laughs> Panzer 3. <laughs> Panzer <laughs> 3 is just like, fuck you. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> just because I owned them so bad. Why? <laughs> Alright, let's go back to base. <laughs> I think he loves you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the rage is hard with this one. How dare he flank and kill me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, dude. Yeah. And, and you did it. You made the opening yourself. You already thought, okay, let's try this time. And it works. Yeah, it's only I an M3 Lee. Yeah. Defending. Although you could have done the same thing as well. Uh, well, I have to derp cannon, so it's a little bit harder because. But I, with that reason, you could actually do because you're flanking them. Yeah, but I also have to hold the line. One of the two has to hold the nine line. Right. If I go away, there's two tanks against four tanks. You know what they're gonna do? They're just gonna go straight in, and yeah. Actually, I'm advancing way too much. I just wow. realized it. Yeah, that was my own fault. My bad. Just um, stop. A little bit in front. Wonder where the rest no, the of the tanks. Oh, KV1. There we go. That's the guy that got me. <laughs> yeah. I deserved it though. Enemy is hit. Can't see me. Penetration. That's some decent damage. Now oh, is he gonna come out, or are we gonna have yes, to... Yes, he, he will eventually. What you can do is... Um, I was thinking about flanking to this... Uh, this rock, yeah. get, get to there, and then you can get some side shots in. You still have to be very careful, 2KV1s is, yeah, it's almost a kill for you. Oh, he's an idiot, go shoot him right away. KV1. 
I don't see him. Burn left. Get him. In front of you now. I'll ping it on the map. This guy. You have to be to the left of this rock, otherwise you can't hit him. No, no, no. Oh, you can. Try to shoot behind him if he's moving back. There you go. Yeti. Come on, Yeti. Just hurry up. Any day die. now. You're gonna die. Yeah, hey, some. You want? Oh, whatever. I'm just getting in there, dude. Yeah, you should. What is he? Forty nine. Hold on. Little craps get us T eighty kill. Yes, he will. Ha. <laughs> T49, just up there. Come on. Yes. Oh, what? That like went through him. Okay, Alright, now move back and come out behind your cover. Please. No. Nice. Oh, you pretty much single handedly destroyed the team. I'm having so much fun at the game right now, guys. It's awesome. I have to thank this Irish, Beyond D, you guys, anyone who's actually been helping me, all these guides and resources out there. I've really come to appreciate the game in a different light, and one that I haven't previously seen before. The intricacies, the technical... <sighs> complexities of the game, it makes the game just fantastic. A new light on, on it. Uh, and, and I see myself doing these videos more and more often. So thank you, uh, all of you, for being part of this and watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you all next time.